Dance is the celebration. It's the celebration of all emotions, happiness, sorrow, anger, love. And there are people that don't have words. And that's actually why I began dance myself. My name is Rob Petrus, and I'm the founder of Dogtown Dance Theater. One and, do it with me, one and two. The space was intended to fill a gap. And there's a lot of artists that graduate from VCU and a lot of artists that don't have anything to do with them that are here in Richmond, but they have no space. The space was a gymnasium that served a high school and a middle school. And then we had to redo virtually everything inside of it. The local artists started to show and eventually one of those artists is the executive director that I hired to replace myself. I am Jess Burgess. I'm the artistic and executive director here at Dogtown Dance Theater located in Manchester, Richmond. And Dogtown's mission is to provide a home and the resources for independent artists so that they can succeed and thrive. When we first opened in 2010, um, we were home to about maybe seven to 15 different artists. We've grown tremendously since then. And um, now here in 2019, we serve over 350 different artists. We don't operate like a traditional dance studio or dance school, if you will. Um, Dogtown does not collect tuition from any students that come in through our doors. What we do is offer subsidized space for dance artists to host classes, workshops, et cetera. And then they can in turn determine their own fate in terms of what is their price points that they want to charge students, you know, how many classes a week do they want to offer, et cetera. When we first opened in 2010, um, we were home to about maybe seven to 15 different artists. We've grown tremendously since then. And um, now here in 2019, we serve over 350 different artists you know, traditional dance, such as ballet, modern, but then we also have cultural dance, African, flamenco, salsa, Filipino. Um, we also have a very robust hip hop um, program here. One of our largest success stories in terms of an artist coming in brand new to the organization and really taking off is Richmond Urban Dance my name is Christina Cooper. I am the assistant director of Richmond Urban Dance, um, and we are a street style only dance organization. Um, we focus on all ages and all skill levels. They started as a completely street dance organization. They were out rehearsing and having classes, literally in you know in parks and in the streets and in you know empty parking lots. We reached this point of growth where we had so many people coming to class, we couldn't fit everybody. So we found Dogtown. That's been fantastic for our growth. Um, we can hold multiple classes, uh, like on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. So that's been fantastic. Push it forward. Now take your right hand and bend both knees and dip, dip, dip. Now artists, a lot of time, and especially dance artists, performing artists, are focusing on their technique. They're focusing on their performing skills, on um, you know their pedagogy, on choreography. Very rarely are artists concerned with the, the entrepreneurial side or the business aspect of being a successful artist. And so our major program is called the Artist Resource Program. And what that program does, it's year round, and it provides support in marketing and PR and helping just build awareness for their classes, their performances, their programs. It can also include technical support for self-production in the main stage theater. So, it really does spread a lot um, of, of different skill sets that we're trying to help artists develop and create because ultimately the end goal is that these artists in Richmond become sustainable on their own and make a more thriving artistic community. So you're here, you're here, you're holding for half a second. Put it down just like this, come back up to here. Dance is this universal language. Um, so we've had some success stories with our kids. So. For the younger kids, let's say someone's getting bullied or someone's having a hard time fitting in and kind of finding that group. They have found that group with us, um, very inclusive, very supportive. 
Then with adults, it's the same thing. We still have that yearning for belongingness and we want to try new things. Um, and we're not there to be professional dancers. We just want to have fun. Dance is a really unique and fundamental component. It teaches creativity, it cre teaches team building, um, you know, working with, you know, others and discipline. A big part of Richmond Urban Dance is offering our students scholarships if they're needed. So financial base, we offer partial and full assistance. Um, we want to make sure we're giving kids and adults the opportunity um, to come to class, even if their current financial situation does not afford them that. Um, so that's a big part of what we do. So the more we grow, the more scholarships we can offer. Over 80% of her students are on scholarship. And that to me is, 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 is what it's all about. Art is something that needs to be consumed by society. And I think by being a nonprofit, it allows us to really serve the artists and the audiences that we, that we do serve in a unique way based on the fact that every dollar that comes in through, through our doors, um, be it through the Artist Resource Program, grant funding, or donors, those dollars are going right back into the artists to make sure that they get the resources they need to be successful. There's too much talent that leaves Richmond because there aren't places for them to work. And that's what it was all about, creating that space. Dogtown is, you know, trying to build a sense of this, this community within artists so that we can work together, we can collaborate, we can produce work, we can, we can share work, we can share space to ultimately just make the community a, a, a better place to live, a better place to grow up, a, a, you know, a place that, that folks want to come to. Yeah.